Okay, so I just want to quickly show you how I use the retouching tools in Photo to add some punch to landscape and architecture images. It's a way of just making the tones in these images pop a little bit more. So for example, we've got a, a sort of an abstract architecture image here that has a basic curves adjustment added to it. This is the original looking very flat. We've got a curve so it just brings out the highlights and crushes the shadows slightly. But it still looks incredibly dull. So with the background pixel layer selected, we'll move across and select the dodge brush tool. Increase the brush size. And we want to target the highlight tonal range here. Now we get a real-time preview as we drag our brush across the image so we can see what it will end up looking like. We'll just increase the opacity to about 50%. Then we'll just basically paint away on these areas. And already we can see it's really bringing out the wood tone, especially those brighter areas. This is now a second layer, or coat, if you like. And then we'll just reduce the opacity slightly for the third coat, or layer, whichever you prefer. And then we've got these darker areas here, so we'll just add a little bit more to them, like so. Okay, once again, take the opacity down even further this time. Just go over the whole subject one more time. And there we go, just by a bit of highlight dodging, we've really brought out these tones in the wood. Okay, we can do the same procedure to a landscape image. So here, once again, I have a curves adjustment with a more radical alteration to the shadow tone down here. So again, we'll go ahead Select the background pixel layer, then the dodge brush tool, increase the brush size, increase the opacity, target the highlight tonal range, and once again we'll paint away. It's worth mentioning at this point actually that you can create very extreme differences in tonal range. So what you could actually do is add the impression of directional light on a particular area of your subject whilst keeping the rest in shadow. Just take the opacity down and do a tiny bit more dodging. Then if we decide an area is perhaps too bright for our tastes, we can switch to the burn brush tool here. Once again, target the highlight tonal range and then we can just go over the area we want to darken. Now, another tool we can use is the sponge brush tool here. And this allows us to add or take away saturation or vibrance. So we'll see on the context toolbar up here, we have vibrance selected and we're currently saturating the image. So we'll just increase the opacity to about 80%. Then we'll go ahead and just paint over the foreground subject. And that will really make the colors pop. Now, additionally, we can switch the mode to desaturate and then just take the opacity down to about 45% or so and we can just slightly desaturate the background here. And this just helps to reduce the focus on the background 
and allow the foreground to jump out a little bit more. So at this point we can work in conjunction with our curves adjustment here. We might decide to just take the highlights down slightly and also crush the shadow tone a little bit more. So you can use all these retouching tools in conjunction with your non-destructive adjustments to make some really dramatic tonal changes in your images. Just a final example then, we can use these tools to brighten up a foreground significantly. So once again, I'll select the background pixel layer, move across to the dodge brush tool, increase the opacity to about 70%, target the highlight tonal range, and then paint away. Okay, that's the first pass. So we'll go for another pass. And we really start to see the foreground brighten up now. Okay, and then for the fourth pass, we'll just reduce the opacity. And there we go, we've gone from something really drab to something really punchy and dramatic. So hopefully that's given you some ideas about using retouching tools for landscape and architecture images. If you have any questions or queries, please do ask on the official Affinity forums. Thank you for watching.